For those of you out there like me who have chosen to shove your Onkyo HDMI receiver into an area with very little natural ventilation and are worried that it might overheat and cause damage to the HDMI board, this is a relatively simple and inexpensive fix. I'll have an option for anybody uncomfortable using a soldering iron at the end. I purchased my first Onkyo receiver cheap because I had a bad HDMI board, and after doing some research decided to order a used replacement board from eBay. It worked out fine, but when I came across this TX-NR709, which is a THX certified unit, I wanted to make sure the board never crapped out to begin with. First, I decided to take some random heat sinks collected over the years from various projects and plaster them all over the HDMI board with thermal adhesive. I know there are only a few chips that generally cause problems, but it was late, I was tired, and it seemed funny at the time to see how awkwardly I could position the mismatched heat sinks onto the various chips. I then decided that I needed a way to force the heat out of the receiver, so I chose to mount a 120mm PC fan from my junk drawer to the top of the case with zip ties. To power the fan, I ripped the guts out of some random 12 volt Chinese power supply that I hope isn't for something important, hot glued it to a piece of plastic, and then hot glued the whole mess to something solid and conveniently located. I pulled power from a switch point on top of the power supply board at the back of the receiver by soldering wires to the back side. I then ran the wire around to the front and added a Molex to fan header adapter for a way to simply disconnect it in the future if I need to service anything. There is also an additional connector if I decide to add another fan someday. I was actually surprised by just how effective this was considering how little space there is for airflow where I keep this thing, but the difference is actually night and day. If you don't feel comfortable soldering, you could try purchasing a 5 volt fan and using a USB connector to power it. This is what I used with my last receiver because there was a USB connector conveniently located at the back of the unit, and it was really simple to do. It's obviously not going to move anywhere near as much air as the 12 volt 120 millimeter option, but it served me well for the last two years. Please be careful if you try anything that you've seen in this video. I don't want you to hurt yourself or your expensive receiver. Good luck and thanks for watching. Well, that's irritating.